In today's Sharp Saturday video, we're gonna take a look at a knife from a small Italian company that I've been wanting to check out for quite a while. Uh, today, we're gonna to take a look at the Wander Tactical Minasaurus. That's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name's Brian. Thanks for joining me for another Sharp Saturday video where it's Saturday and we take a look at something sharp. And as I said today, that something sharp is this. Minosaurus from the folks at Wander Tactical. Now, I met Alex Wander at SHOT Show a few years ago. Uh, um, we, we, he was hanging out with, with Dave Canterbury, so he, he runs in some pretty, pretty uh, knowledgeable circles. And him and his partner, Dino, Alex Wander and Dino Grey Moose have a company in Italy where they manufacture these handmade Italian knives. And, uh, but they're not just knife makers. They, they're adventurers and wilderness guys and survival. If, if you look at, at, at their Facebook page or whatever, man, he's always out in the, in the wilderness somewhere in the world. So um, they've created these knife designs. And again, this is the Minosaurus. Uh, so they got several different versions. Like this is a small fixed blade. They've got large fixed blades. They've got folding knives, but but all of them are created based on their experience and actually using knives. So first, let's talk about the specs of this one, and then we'll take you down to the old stump top and get to doing some of that knife stuff. So here we go. The overall length of this knife is just 6.2 inches, so it's a really good EDC size knife. The blade is 2.4 inches long. It is, it is D2 steel, it's cryogenically heat treated to about 59 to 61 hardness. And this one has the uh, iron wash finish on it. The handles are micarta. This is brown micarta, also available in black micarta. And they're kind of that rough, rough tread grip finish. And then they're put together with stainless steel bolts, has a lanyard hole in it. And the uh, sheath is coyote colored micarta. And just show you that real quick. It's, it's a pancake style sheath. Snaps in very well. It's got these neat little little loops on back to put it on your belt, or I guess you could also put it on Molly. And you can swap those around. They're just bolted on. If you want to carry it, uh, you know, different handed, right or left handed. You might could even uh, set these things up. It looks like you could, depending upon where the holes are. I'm sure you could set it up to, to run scout carry if you wanted to. Pretty versatile there because even if the holes aren't, well, let me just show you how these things work. So you just basically get that little tab there, you pull that out like so, and you've got some holes here, and another one here. So and if, and if they're not spaced exactly where you want them, you could probably drill other holes and you could set this thing up to pretty much, let me get it back in there right. You pretty much do what you want. So just like that and it snaps in and locks, so that's pretty cool. Now, let me show you the details of this blade real, real closely. Has a little bit of jimping right here, just a little bit, just enough for you to get your thumb on there and get some really close work. But I want you to look at the, the evenness of this grind on this thing. It is extremely, extremely even there, and it has a nice little sh tiny sharpening choil at the bottom so you can get the edge all the way down. Very, very even grind on this thing, um, and a very extremely sharp 90 degree spine so I, I wear medium gloves typically uh, so this is a pretty good fit for my hand just a really good little edc style type knife for doing you know detail type chores and stuff but instead of me rambling on about it let's take it down to the old stump top and put it through some of the in industry standard knife tests that we do here at survival on purpose so i like to call them knife stuff all right let's take a look at this thing now first of all um I like to start every knife review out with uh, what is probably the worldwide industry standard test for blade edge and sharpness, uh, the redneck sharp test. So let me get over here where you can see that really well. And there is the testing medium. Let's just see how well, I, I'm pretty sure this thing is gonna be like. So a little bit, maybe against the grain. So yeah, I would give that about a, a probably a B minus or a C plus on redneck sharpness. It feels really, really sharp, but it did not. Let's try the other side. It really isn't just shaving the hair off. Although it has, well, okay, never mind. It's there's some hair. Lots of hair there, so there you go. 
I'll upgrade my grade to a a B plus because it did get some hair off of it. It didn't take it down to the skin like an actual razor blade, like some knives do. So, but uh, there's that. Another industry standard test that I typically don't like to do for whatever reason is the uh, sharpness test on a paper cutting. But we're going to try it now and see. And this paper is a little slightly damp, but not really damp. It's rained all day today here. It just stopped. And the mosquitoes are out in force. Okay, so we'll call that again about a, a B minus or a C on the paper cutting test. Before I destroy my notes completely, let's talk about a couple things I forgot to tell you. So the price on this one, uh, the MSRP is about 135 euros in Italy. Um, and I found this on Discount Cutlery, Cutlery website at the time of this website in the USA for 117 with free shipping. And by the way, I wanna show you this thing came with a certificate of authenticity here. And here's what it says on back. Um, our lifetime warranty is plain and simple. There it is. If you break it, we replace it. So pretty good there. You can't really argue with that. But industry standard sharp test aside, I think it's really a, a, probably a good idea to do some real world testing. And one of the reasons I like to carry a knife at all times is for um, so many useful tasks. But one of, one of the survival tasks that I think are really important is being able to build a fire. And maybe if I can build a fire, I can get rid of some of these mosquitoes because they are crazy, crazy out right now. So let's see what we might have to do to do that. So this is a small knife. And like I said, it's been raining all day today. It just stopped maybe an hour ago. So I've got a piece of wood here that I just picked up off the ground and it's probably damp on the outside. And matter of fact, I can feel that it's damp there. But even with a small knife, it's big enough to maybe to baton in the center here. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go ahead and Back this up here where you, maybe you can see it. And I know a lot of people don't like this batoning. They think it's a horrible, horrible abuse of a knife, but we're gonna do it anyway because I think it's a potentially useful skill to get down to the inner part of some potentially damp wood and get to some dry wood in the middle. And again, this is a really small knife, so you're not gonna baton anything. And we're not talking about building a log cabin anyway. We're talking about just getting to some dry wood on the inside. And you can see the difference in color on that. There's the outside, there's the inside. So we're going to baton a little bit more down here. See if I can get to an inner, a complete inner surface. And let me do one more. This is some pretty gnarly wood to be trying to do anything with, but maybe that'll give us something we can work with. And I'm just gonna carve off some of that outer wood there. Let's see what we got now. Okay, here we go. Well, that's carving some little curls there now. Oh yeah, nice little curls. So there's a pretty cute little pile right there. So this knife has what I would call a saber grind. It's not really a scandy. It's got a little secondary bevel right there on the edge. And let's try something else now. You might know where we're going with this. Uh, got my fatwood here that's been in storage for, out here in my fatwood storage facility for, gosh, going on close to nine years now, I think. We're gonna see how well we can do, do a little a little carbon with that because fat wood is some great stuff when it comes to making them fires. And you can see we get a little some really thin little 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 pieces here curling up. And but what I really like to do with fat wood is scrape it and get some really fine fat wood scraping. So I got a feeling this thing is gonna scrape like nobody's business. And as you can see it does the edge on the back of this thing it, the 90 degree spine is absolutely gorgeous as far as doing stuff like this. So we got that all scraped up there. You know where we're going next, don't you? I happen to have 
one of them there ferrocerium rods this one is from five star gear i've had this one for quite a while let's see what we can do with her just see if we can hit some of this fat with i want to see how well this thing i'm sure this thing makes all kinds of sparks let me just show you look at that Oh, here we go. Even the fat was damp, but there we go. Hoo -ah. Okay, so that was some of the practical real world testing of this Wander Tactical Minoceros. And uh, just to kind of recap, it, uh, Bottom line, it's, um, I don't, it's probably not going to be the best choice for shaving, but if you want to build a fire, it is an excellent choice. A very good little EDC style blade. Give it like a B, B plus slash minus on the sharpness testing. It is a really sharp edge. When I, when I felt of it, it feels really sharp. Just this little secondary bevel maybe needs a little, little touching up to be uh, shaving. But for everyday use, and especially use in the field, um, it's a really good edge. I really like the, uh, I like the 90 degree spine. It's very, very comfortable. It's just a really comfortable feeling knife. It feels really good for doing all kinds of little tasks around camp or just around, around your daily life. So, um, and I, I must say this, could probably be a really good little self-defense EDC style, small enough to carry concealed. But, um, I, you know, people say, I don't need a big old knife. My, um, Clint Smith, when I was out there with him, asked me a question I think is really relevant. It says, show me somewhere on your body you'd like to be cut one inch deep. So uh, that's, that's deeper than one inch. Anyway, that being said, as you know, here at Survival on Purpose, we is all about the science. And to that end, we maintain a state of the art cutting edge knife testing facility, as you can see here, probably uh, non-paralleled in the entire knife industry. One of the uh, standard tests we like to do is to test the aerodynamic balance of every fixed blade knife using the balance, orientation, and rotation device. So uh, I think we ought to do that now. You want to? Don't forget though, proper scientific method is important. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hey, uh, shall we try again? Maybe once more. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna stop tempting fate and call this one balanced. And man, it was like that was pretty close to the center, and it it went in pretty good. So, you know, sometimes these little small knives give me fits. This one doesn't. This thing absolutely uh, displays extremely capable aerodynamic balance quality. So anyway, that's the Wander Tactical Minoceros. Um, very, very capable little knife made by a couple of really great guys. And if I can ever get, get it figured out how to get it off my iPhone and onto my computer, <laughs> I will um, I'll post an uh, interview I did with those guys at Blade Show. Um, it should be simple for whatever reason I'm having trouble with. But anyway, I digress. Um, if you're interested in these, again, you can, uh, I'll put links in the video description below where I found them, but you can always go to wanderedtactical.com and check it out. They have a list on there of dealers um, and one of, the, one of their drop downs. So um, thanks again to the folks at Wander Tactical, to Alex and Gino for, for sending me home with this from Blade Show where I can show it to you. And as always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident, so be prepared. I'll see you next time.